because you know what they say about the best laid plans of men and mice and moles and all that good stuff. Hello everybody, welcome back to LTB Farms. Just got the message that cows are coming home. Yep, so we've got to uh, get down here and make preparation. They're also picking up one of our other heifer calves. So we've got to try to get her caught up so we can load her up for them to take back. So, welcome back to the farm. Okay, so we uh, played our game of shuffle. <laughs> Got the goats all over here. I'm not so worried about the ram there. But, and got the calf, the heifer calf, up in this pen. So the plan is, right now, is when they get here with the cows, we will come through the gate down there. My plan is, we'll see how it works. <laughs> And then it will back up into here and turn them loose up there through that gate right there into that front pasture. Then, once we have that done, then we can close that up. He can pull up and he can back up to this pair of gates. And then at this set of gates, we'll get that heifer calf loaded up. So, she's not too horribly bad. That's her plan right now. So now we have to see how it works. Because <laughs> you know what they say about the best laid plans of men and mice and moles and all that good stuff. So anyway, the only hard part that we're going to have to be watchful of is even though she's older, uh, a black and white cow out there is her mama. And she was just reunited with her mama not too awful long ago, so she's not real happy about being separated from her right now. I mean, she's well over a year old, so that's not an issue. She's just not happy about it. So, here we go with that. I'm going to go open some gates, get ready for them to get here, and we'll catch you on the other side, all right?
Okay. All right. Three guesses what I'm doing today. There's the tractor. There's the fuel funnel in there. Got a water. I have a uh, rag. Yeah. I have my cooling cloth on. And it's 118 degrees. So what would I be doing? Uh, yeah. Bush hogging. What else? What I do when it's so hot. So, I've got fuel to get in the tractor. Before I even start this time, I want to check that air filter after I get the diesel in. So, I'm trying to find a place to park you until I get uh, going here. Well, I'm going to change clothes. I had diesel all over me. Uh, yeah, it slipped when I was getting it out. Okay, here we go. All right, I'm back. Got to change of clothes. Got the diesel washed off a little bit. I got most of it off. I made kind of an executive decision, I guess you call it. I've got a pretty good area opened up down here at the bottom. And about almost half of this field done. I'm sitting here watching this house. You know, our idea is to get them moved over here onto this pasture. That's why I was knocking down some of this tall goat weed and stuff. But uh, I also think what I'm going to do is the water tank that's up there at the cross fence as hot as it is, I can tell that these girls were laying down in this shade all day before they go up and get a drink at around feeding time. So I'm going to move this tank down closer to this shade and uh, hopefully that will help them kind of deal with this, uh, with this stress over the next couple of weeks because the heat indexes over the next couple of weeks are still expected to be extremely high. High temperatures, 102, 103, 104. So I think I'm going to go deal with that right now. Grab a quick break, 
I'll uh, drop the bush hog, pick up the water tank so I can bring it down here and get this filled up first and start it filling up again for the rest of it. camera's starting to overheat so I'm having some problems here anyway uh, well I guess I'm going to come and get this uh, tank if I can get it dumped cuz yeah I poked a hole in that one just as big as that one I'll fix it I'll figure out a way to fix it I promise you that okay got this one loaded up so I'm going to take it down. Well, I took a little break. It was, uh, gosh, it was so hot. I just couldn't. I just couldn't. So, didn't get to finish that bottom. I'll try to get up in the morning and finish before it's just stinking hot, which I know that's probably not going to happen is the way the heat indexes start building early in the morning. But maybe I can at least get it done before it gets just horribly bad. So, my wife and granddaughter have been down and kind of gotten their... My wife, granddaughter have kind of come down and gotten their stuff done before uh, while I went up to cool off a little bit so we ate supper light supper because I wasn't about to eat like that mm -mm. no anyhow ate a light supper so I'm gonna get down now finish up my stuff don't have a whole lot just got to feed them in there take this water tank down and uh, fill up that cow's tank down at the bottom. I'm going to open that gate tonight. Hopefully the goats won't give us too much of an issue. That bottom fence down there at the creek was not really designed for goats or sheep. It was designed for cows. And uh, so unfortunately, most of the time goats and sheep can get through it and get out way too easy. So I'm hoping we can... Uh, Maybe find a way to get them convinced to stay where we're supposed to. It's not going to happen, but you know, we, we, we try to stay fine. Well, the sun's starting to set, and uh, I've got just a little bit left to do. They're all fed. They're all fed and happy in there. And uh, I'm going to run some over here to this the goat and the ram that we have. In this silver section over here this field that are just kind of puny so I'm gonna go feed them and then I'm gonna take this water tank down and see if I can get the cows to follow me down the lane I'll take the camera I don't know if it'll I'll take the camera I don't know if it'll do any good but, uh, just in case I don't get Gate open, gate close routine. <laughs> About 68 times a week. I suspect when I go down the lane and open this little gate here, I will probably get everybody to follow me except Jayla, who is the one that just recently had the calf. Because knowing her and the calf. I doubt that they will come around. I doubt. They're anxiously awaiting something. They just, uh, I'm not really sure what it is. That's too cold. Yes, too cold. 
vehicle is just as loud as she ever was, if not more so. She's a big mouth. If she's hungry, you will know. There is no doubt. I'm going to fill this tank. Tonight, it will take a while. Because it is wholly empty. I'm going to move away from the track. So, it is getting dark pretty quick. By the time this water tank finishes, it'll probably be getting pretty dark. So, I'm going to go ahead and sign off for tonight. Uh, thank you for watching. We have really appreciate it very, very much. To our new subscribers, we really appreciate each and every one of you. To those of you that have been with us from the beginning, I cannot express enough how much we appreciate each and every one of y'all. You, uh, you make a difference, and it's nice to know that people are that interested in what you do. If you're not subscribed to our channel, do so. It doesn't cost a penny to subscribe. All you have to do is have a YouTube account. That doesn't cost anything either. So subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Make sure to click the notification so you're notified of new videos. And we thank you for watching here at LTV Farms. And that one's going to wrap this up for tonight.